Look who followed us. Yeah. Look at these boys right here. Yeah. <laughs> What's up guys? This is the pre-fish before the tournament. And so we're starting out here on the north end. What we do on this day is we actually will check out the spots that we're interested in fishing on tournament day. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna start off on the north side, then actually take a car ride all the way down to the south end and fish there the rest of the day. So we're only gonna be here for a short period of time. Let's do this. All right, so we're in Gentry Creek on the north arm. So for you guys fishing, the, is it the Crappie Masters Net, the Championships gonna be here in Ufala? That's where, we're, that's where we're, we're, we're checking out right now on the north side. Last day before pre, right underneath this bridge right now. Um, we've actually fished the entire creek and we're finding that they're, they're really shallow. Here. They're really shallow on this side over here right now. And um, we don't think it's gonna be enough to maybe change our game plan, but who knows, you never know. And, uh, but you're basically getting the same, you're getting the same fish no matter where you go. It just it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Here's a good fish right there. A good fish being defined as over a pound right now. Um, fishing has been extremely easy. I don't think you can. To the right. Anyway, hey, uh, you're catching pound fish all the time. That's close to a pound fish. And we're just, you know, trying to explore Gentry Creek a little bit more. We had a spot that we really like. We still caught a 167 this morning on there, but the plan is to then go down south and check out Crowder, correct? We're gonna go down to Crowder and check that out. Seems like the masses are there though. That's what's kind of not our, what we don't like about it so but we fished crowder the very first day caught good fish there and uh we'll, we'll see That's one. all right well the plot th thickens ran into a rock just as we were leaving and now we have trolling motor issues so we are headed to a place that hopefully we can give you some good information about but scarred up really nice right here here and bottom line, we don't know, everything seems to work on the trolling motor except for the prop turning. And it seems like everything's turning normal, but um, power's not getting from the foot pedal to that. So we're gonna bring you to a new spot, share that experience with you. This is tournament fishing. It's painful. Almost every single event, it seems like something happens where you have to roll with it. <laughs> That's the only way you can explain it. It's frustrating. You know, we've got today to deal with this. It's roughly 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, we're filling up gas because this is an hour away. And the guy says he has parts for it in case we need parts. So hopefully they're nice enough to put us in priority because of our event tomorrow. You never know though. All right, guys, we're here. How about this, man? In Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, they have a shop that is dedicated to trolling motors. I mean, how about that? How about that? Apparently Motor Guide used to be built here near Broken Arrow or in Broken Arrow. And these guys just started working on them and turned it into an absolute business. So Close Lakes are Grand Lake, Eufaula, and we've got Cody and Colt helping us out here. But an absolutely dedicated trolling motor shop. Colt, you think what? Armature's bad in it. Uh, brushes are gonna have to be replaced. Um, and what creates that? Could be voltage issue, hitting it, hitting something, water getting in there, but there's no water. Okay, so, so this is, I mean, hitting that, the rock we did yep. would be 
Wow. But it could be a voltage drop, something like that. We'll check voltage and make sure. Cool. So right now, what do you guys think it is? A bad armature for sure. We're gonna replace the brushes, the brush card. Uh, we're gonna have to get you a new nose cone as well. The bearings froze up in the back, it's dry. So we're gonna have to take that out the shaft, run new wire up through the shaft. So we got 39.92. Uh, all those are bad. Bad, 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 bad. Bad, bad, bad. Usually 180 out from We're gonna replace this brush here, this brush, brush card and put a new seal kit in around the o-rings there and the seals to the armature um, put a new nose cone on there talk about the bearing. the concern you have about lithium batteries so that, those lithium batteries are 36 volts they're putting out 39 volts that troller motor and they're throwing too many voltage too much voltage up to the troller motor for this troller motor to withstand and that's okay. what's causing this armature to burn up how it is that's pretty good stuff. I like it. <laughs> I'm learning something here. I'm learning something. No, it's, it's very interesting. So. so very interesting information to get on trolley motors in regards to lithium batteries. But I'll tell you what, something me and Mike talked about on the way here is, is getting locations like this near our tournament sites is, is critical. Uh, knowing where you can bring your boat immediately for fixes. So if you guys are ever in the broken area, the Grand Lake, the Eufaula area, do me a favor, support these guys. Um, this is top notch service right here, no doubt about it. And um, anytime you have a, a place that their expertise is trolling motors, that, I mean, you just can't get any better than that. So very excited to have found these guys because if I'm ever back in the Eufaula area, the Broken Arrow area, I know where I'm going for trolling motors. All right, while we wait for the boat to get worked on, and we're going to bring you back there and show you what, exactly what they did. We noticed that in Broken Arrow, they have a really cool veterans park here, and we're kind of blown away by it, to be honest with you, by how big it is. And it's, I mean, just beautiful. Check that out. Look at that. So this is the Woman's War Memorial, an everlasting tribute. Anyway, very cool guys. Never would have been in Broken Arrow had it not been for a trolling motor, Mike. And now we get to see the memorial, that's pretty cool. All right, guys, they got it running. And uh, Colt is taking care of the final touches, putting the, the prop on it right now. And your conclusion right now, it's it's a lithium battery issue. Yes, it's putting out too many volts up here to the trolling motor. It's causing that armature to burn up. These, these trolling motors are not to withstand 39 plus volts for so long. So it was slowly, it's been happening for some time and it just took crap on him today. <laughs> Well, definitely something we're going to look into. Let me see if we can't, because he's actually had experiences where guys have come back multiple times for that same issue. So we ran against, we, we ran into a rock. We know that's part of the issue. I'm not quite sure where that fits in yet, but he's definitely grabbed onto the lithium issue. So um, definitely something to look into, but we're going to show it to you here shortly. You will bend an armature shaft on a Minn Kota before you will ever break a prop on a Minn Kota. Motor guides are different. Motor guides you will break a prop before you bend that armature shaft. Yep. Now that, I think it's quieter. I think, yeah, most huh? Of what do you think? I greased up bushings, <laughs> bearings, everything. Wow. Good. Yep. That's awesome. Armature is gonna be covered under warranty. Yes. That's awesome, guys. You don't get much. It does not get better than that. That is the. That is without a doubt the best service I've ever had at a tournament. To be able to, at an area that we have we are not familiar with, to be able to come here 
and get these guys to give us some attention because we're, we're fishing tomorrow i mean we have no way of changing that tournament start point right so we have to get this thing fixed and to be able to come to a place like this unbelievable my hats off also to robert carlisle he reached out to somebody i think that got us this name so that we could come here and these guys stopped everything they were doing for us i mean we honestly have more we have time we could fish some more today if we wanted to all right the things we do and tournament fishing is hilarious we are actually gonna go ahead and fish it's been a long day already but we actually have a couple hours before uh time's up so we can come out here and test this trolley motor catch some fish and feel good about what we're about to experience tomorrow morning hey the trolley motor works and this bait works brush pile jigs hooked us up with those yeah so that's a day in the life of a tournament angler no doubt about it we went we've been through it all today start off on the north side find and get so lucky with those guys the trolley motor shop and broken arrow um can't thank them enough that's incredible um you're gonna see a lot about them on social media just because by golly they deserve it if you're in the area apparently all they do is repair trolley motors and they were the definitely the place to go if you're ever in this area uh we're back on the water we're catching fish you know this is just a uh to make sure the trolley motor works if we get lucky and we find a spot great but that's really not probably the focus at all it's just to make sure it works and catch some fish for the last two hours so appreciate you guys watching and uh the next episode will probably be the entire eufaula event just because i want to move on to the other lakes that we're going to be fishing this summer so um enjoy and i appreciate you